Hulema's growth is largely coming from demand in the domestic economy for beverage cans. Uh, beverage cans are growing along with consumer demand in South Africa and the region and Huleman is well placed to continue to supply uh, the aluminium, rolled aluminium for the bodies and ends and tabs of beverage cans. That's the underlying demand growth that we're seeing in the region. We're also quite a big player in the automotive space and our volumes there have also been growing. Uh, load shedding has is, 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 um, been challenging. We face a, a thing called load curtailment, which is we get a phone call with about two hours notice and we get a request to reduce our consumption by 10 to 20 percent. Um, initially when we first started with that it was very disruptive because our production tends to be a continuous flow and so with two hours notice you can't actually stop the plant um, but if we don't meet the load curtailment requirements we then get threatened with complete closure or complete shutdown. So we have managed to meet the curtailment requirements. We, it did initially re re uh, result in a build up of inventory and st uh, slow production. However, we have um, improved our planning methodology and our ability to um, continue some operations during the periods of load curtailment. We've also installed a set of um, six generators that allow us to continue to operate at very close to normal production during periods of 10 to 20 percent curtailment. Globally, the most recycled of all uh, consumer products are beverage cans and South Africa is no different. With the conversion of the beverage can market in South Africa from steel to aluminium, we are now well placed to buy this scrap that comes back from the market, either in the form of used beverage cans which come off the street or from the producer which is NAMPAC and recycle those back into can stock which NAMPAC will then manufacture into cans. We also have been on quite a major um, investment in upgrades and improvements to our plant and equipment. The outlook going forward is muted in the sense that we really don't know what's going to happen with the power supply and energy supply going forward. Um, assuming that that's relatively stable and continues as it has for the last couple of months, uh, we improve, we're looking for a better six months because our planned maintenance is now behind us. Um, with one corollary in that being there is some uncertainty in global markets as a result of very large volumes of Chinese material that's coming out of Asia.